So I'm a visual artist, and um, for me, art and life are totally intertwined. Um, you can't have one without the other. I do performance art, and um, the difference between performance art, one of the differences between performance art and acting is presence, and that when we perform as artists, we are actually doing the thing. Um, we're not performing to be somebody else. So everything I do and say now is going to be very real. Um, and yeah, so my story starts in summer 2012 in Chicago. And I had moved to Chicago with my then boyfriend um, for him to go to graduate school. And then we broke up. Um, so a few weeks after we broke up, he had moved out. And I was still finishing out the lease in our apartment. Um, and I invited him over for breakfast. We were still friends. So I made blueberry pancakes, and we were sitting in the front room having a really great conversation about all the things that we should have been talking about if we'd wanted to stay together. And I was thinking, hmm, maybe we're going to get back together. And then um, one of the things we were talking about was this woman he had been attracted to. And so then I finally asked, did you kiss her? And he said, yes. And then the whole world stopped. It just stopped. And then I knew the question I needed to ask next. And my heart was just racing, just racing. And so then I, I asked him that question. The answer to that, of course, was also yes. And then what came out of my mouth were all the cliches you see in every betrayal scene in every movie. Get away from me! I don't want to talk to you. I don't know who you are. All of that stuff. And he was really surprised. I was so upset. I don't know why he was surprised, but he was. <laughs> um, so he leaves, and then throughout the day, we're texting and talking on the phone and all these questions of like, how did this happen? When did it happen? How long have it been going on? So on and so forth. Um, 11 o'clock rolls around. I'm sitting in the apartment that was our apartment with all the furniture we brought together and so on and so forth. And I am just fuming. I cannot sit still anymore. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm like, I just have to get out of the house. I've got to like get some release. Um, so I'm like, what am I going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to smash the windshield on his car. <laughs> so, <laughs> And if you can tell, I'm generally a pretty mellow person, pretty mild-mannered, but not in that moment. Um, so I'm looking around the apartment. I'm like, what can I use to smash this windshield? And I'm like, oh, I need a baseball bat. We don't have a baseball bat. Why don't we have a baseball bat? Um, and I'm like, forget it. I'm just like getting out of this apartment. So I go outside, and I go over to the car. And I reach in my pocket, and I got some keys. So I decide I'm going to key this car. And I do a really good job at it. Uh, so I get the driver's side, I get the trunk, I get the passenger side, and the hood. And then, I, you know, it didn't feel very good. So if you're thinking about doing that, I don't recommend it. Uh, so I was still staying there. I'm like, man, I still want to smash that windshield. What am I going to do? OK, I've got a hammer in the apartment. I'm going to go back and get that. I have this very brief moment of clarity, very brief, that says, maybe you should take a walk around the block before you get that hammer. Um, so I start walking around the block, and the moment of clarity is gone. And then I'm like, you know what, he should just give me his car. Of course not thinking, I just keyed that car. <laughs> so I text him four words, give me your car. And he texts back, OK. <laughs> oh. <Okay. laughs> um, all right, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Um, so, <laughs> so the next morning, he comes to the door of our apartment, and he's like, oh, you know, I, I just went to the car to take some things out of it, and somebody keyed the car, and it was totally intentional. I don't know who would do anything like that. They did a really, like, they got every single panel in the car, and they, like, went right down to the metal in some places. He was like, I could probably get a paint job for you, but it would probably be, like, just not a very good one, but I could do that. And I was like, mm, that's okay. <laughs> so he hands me the keys, and then he leaves. So um, three and a half years later, now, I have been driving that car for three and a half years, and I keep myself. 
<laughs> so, um, yeah, thanks to this performance as a deadline and my job at Wesleyan, I recently purchased another car, and I would like to auction my old car off to you. <laughs> And I will donate the proceeds to the Library Foundation. <laughs> so, with that, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a 1996 Nissan Maxima. It's got 148,000 miles on it. The Kelly Blue Book value is $1,120. It gets about 30 miles to the gallon. It's a front-wheel drive car, four-door, automatic power steering, power windows. It's even got a sunroof. It's got rust underneath, and it has been keyed. <laughs> This is a reliable car that'll get you around town. And we'll open the bidding at $100. Do I hear $100? $100, do I hear two? Do I hear two? $100, do I hear two? $100, I will bid two. $100, I will bid two. $200, I will bid two and a quarter. $200, I will bid two and a quarter. $200, I will bid two and a quarter. I have to say, I can't see in the back if you are bidding because I have light in my eyes. So just shout it out if you want to bid on this car. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, awesome, we have bidders. <laughs> okay, so let's open the bidding. Two and, two and a quarter. 300 now three and a quarter, 300 now three and a quarter, 300, three and a quarter now three and a half, three and a quarter now three and a half, three and a half now three and 75, three and a half now 375, three and a half now 375, four, 375 now four, 375 now four, 375 now four, 400 now four and a quarter, 400 now four and a quarter, 400 now four and a quarter, four and a quarter now four and a half, four and a quarter now four and a half, four and a half now five, four and a half now five, four and a half now five, 500 now five and a quarter, 500 now five and a half, five and a half, five and a quarter now five and a half, five and a quarter now five and a half, five and a half now six, five and a half now six, now six, five and a half now six, six hundred dollars, six hundred dollars, six hundred now six and a half, seven hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars now seven and a quarter, seven hundred now seven and a quarter, seven hundred now seven and a quarter, seven hundred now seven and a quarter, seven and a quarter, seven and a quarter now seven and a half, seven and a quarter now seven and a half, seven and a quarter now seven and a half, seven and a quarter now seven and a half, seven and a quarter now seven and a half, last chance. Eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred dollars now. Eight and a quarter. 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 Going once, going twice, and sold for eight hundred dollars. Thank you.